So here we have the Kia Xceed on a 22 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. And then underneath this tray section, even more space again. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and coolant temperature gauge, and over on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles of the car. They are only 3,932, so very low mileage for the car's age. Above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change the information displayed there using buttons on the steering wheel. We're on the driving data menu at the moment, but there are other menus available to you as well. Uh, so satellite navigation, as you can see, uh, lane assist, basically vehicle settings menu, and then background to where we started again. And the buttons I was using to do that are over on the right-hand side of the steering wheel just here, along with cruise control. On the left-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls, as you can see. The phone controls can only be used after you pair up the phone to the car, and that is done over on the touchscreen in the center just here. So there's various different things you can access, including the satellite navigation. Really nice, clear, wide uh, color display, as you can see. We've done a video showing how Kia's satellite navigation system works, generally speaking, uh, and you can find that on our website and on our YouTube channel as well. Down the bottom here, you can access certain things, for example, uh, your radio. You'll see this car's got DAB, uh, FM radio available there. If you listen to your own music, hit the media button. Uh, plenty of ways to listen to your own music as well. Uh, and they include Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, depending on uh, what phone you have, of course. Uh, if I put the vehicle into reverse, you will see we have a reversing camera to go along with those parking sensors. Working our way down from that, we have dual zone climate control, so you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature, you can increase or decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. The air conditioning is on at the minute, so that's off. Back on again, or hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperature or temperatures that you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you. You can override that at any point in time you wish to. Beneath that, we have a heated driver seat with three different heat settings, heated passenger seat, again, with three different heat settings, and a heated steering wheel as well. We have two uh, charging sockets down here. One is a 12 volt charging socket. The other is a USB charging socket. The USB in the middle is so you can plug in a uh, music device uh, or your smartphone in order that you can use Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. We have a six speed manual gearbox. We can turn the parking sensors on and off for the car here. This button turns off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. The system is off when that light shows. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.